All right, 4.6 special update program for Genshin Impact starts in 10 seconds. I'm excited. 4.5 was very, we all know, but I, I, I have a feeling that 4.5 walks so that 4.6 could fly. Let's go, it's time. It has been millennia since the fall of Remuria, and its history has long faded into the mists of mythology and superstition. Okay. Legends tell of how before the birth of the Court of Fontaine, there was an empire known as Remuria. Remurians believed their king, Remus, would bring eternal prosperity to the islands of the High Sea. Mm -hmm. However, the God King's seers prophesied discord. The greatest empire will face the most utter destruction. And this is Fortuna. Thus, New did area? the God King derive the primordial plan from the cycle of the seven days and winds blowing over sea and land, and composed a splendorous symphony based upon it. He believed that the polities could escape fate's judgment and attain eternal paradise if they harmonized with his perfect symphony. But today, welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.6 What an intro! Program. What an intro, Let's take bro. Take a look at the trailer. I can On occasion, we hold barbecue dinners at the house. They hunt for food, compete with each other, even cooperate. Barbecue? They enjoy participating in activities like that, and the feeling is mutual. Okay. After all, it's always possible certain familiar faces will be missing from the crowd the next time a similar event rolls around. Something has come up, and since it pertains to Cyrus and Sino, Sino? it's essential to inform you all. It okay. Was, uh... Great. Wait, are we going back to the desert? In secrecy. Oh god. We all gathered around and celebrated the revival of our lord. That's how I gained my power. The old man's been putting the pressure on me. He sent someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of project. Project Stuja? Participating in the plan will lose a lot of members in the process. Hey, but okay, first and foremost, that boss looks amazing. After presenting you with the Gnosis. If you accept my proposal, Monsieur Nevelet, unless absolutely necessary, I will no longer carry out any special missions within Fontaine. Oh, the music is insane. Oh my god, dude. Transfixed. Everlasting as the moon. Yeah, I'm C6 R5 and bro. C6 R5. An order once given cannot be rescinded. Who's that? Do you have any idea what you're doing? You're hiding the very person father has been trying to find. I really didn't mean to drag anyone else into this. If father finds out about this, everyone involved is going to be punished. Traitor. Oh my god. Sino was chosen, but he was not the only one. <laughs> You'd like me to return my power? I'm really looking forward to this right of duels. The wisdom of Hermanubis would have been ours. Dude, this is. I want you to become the next king of the house. Yet you seem to have different. Severoff. I'm not saying I have all the answers, but doing so will only bring Wait, us further they're away fighting from being her. the real family. Your words paint an optimistic picture indeed. Allow me to remind you, however, you among us are willing to sit in the glass filled with tasty water. We, I'll make sure it's drained of all impurities and returned to its cleanest form. Good things come to children who do as they're told, so I do hope you decide to tag along. There are many dangers ahead. Oh my god! I don't want to disobey an order from father. So why? She has why a scythe. have you backed us into a corner? No demonstration. Oh my gosh, she looks so creepy like that. And no sacrifice shall be in vain. 4.5 sucks so that 4.6 could fly. Dun, 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 dun. Dude, if that does not Hello, hype everyone. you up, then I'm quit Sarah playing Gilly Genshin at this point because nothing will hype you up. 
Welcome that was awesome. to the Genshin Impact version 4.6 special program. <laughs> Yay! Welcome, everyone! Yay! Yo, yo, welcome! <laughs> that shit was sick. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that everyone would agree that the House at the Hearth isn't an ordinary orphanage. Do you see Fremenade just, just like blocking it? Like, convincing, <laughs> dude, that was so cool. Their voice actors to share some information with us today. Hey everyone, so my sick. name is Erin Yvette. I'm the voice of Arlequino, the father of the House of the Hearth. You might also I... recall that she's a Fatui Harbinger known as the Knave. Yes. I'm so thrilled to have been invited to the special program. Yeah, hi folks, I'm Damon Mills, the voice of Linny, and he's also a member of the House of the Hearth. Why is Ido here? Yeah. And although he's not a member of the House of the Hearth, we've also brought the harbinger of laughter and cheer, the one and only voice of Arataki Ito. What up? It's me, Max oh my Middleman. God. Why is he hey, everybody, here? what's going on? My bros, my guys, my dudes. Dude. So good. <laughs> Are you excited to be here? Vibes, vibes, vibes. <laughs> I'm not even mad about it. Right, I love well, you, though. Without any further delay, let's start introducing the new content from version 4.6. Let's get into it. I've heard that travelers will be experiencing new content related to the House of the Hearth in the upcoming version. Aaron, why don't you give us a rundown on what sort of organization the House of the Hearth is? Yes, it would be my pleasure. No days live, by the way. Based on the most recent intelligence reports, the House of the Hearth is a Fatui intelligence organization operated by the Knave. Yes. Uh, it takes in children who no longer have a home due to all manner of reasons, and they receive an education in a variety of disciplines. I'm trying so hard not Naturally, to bark right now. at the now. same time as it provides a home, the children also take on various responsibilities. Okay, this sounds like everything that we already know from the game. Yes. Uh, is there more news to hear? Yes, everyone knows that the House of the Hearth is a rather complicated orphanage, and the Knave, the fourth harbinger of the Fatui, is still hiding many unsolved mysteries. Mm -hmm. So how about we start diving into all the new information that we have about our Lakino? Show me how let's she plays, it. baby. Yes, let's do oh it. Oh my okay, God. Okay, first, I, I wanna hear it straight from y'all. What kind of person do you think the Knave is? Oh no. Mommy, daddy. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling a lot of pressure Good right person. now. Good <laughs> person. This is giving me all sorts of deja <laughs> um, I guess during the Fontaine Archon quest, I noticed that Arlequina was really skilled at directing the conversation. Her way of speaking was incredibly refined and polite, but she was also incredibly intimidating. <laughs> yes. I mean, remember how Farina intimidating pretended is a good not one. to recognize her and talked about having nightmares? I totally get where she was coming from. Mm. But that's just an outsider's point of view, right? <laughs> what is the knave like as a parent? I think Damon is probably the best oh. person to answer that question. <laughs> okay, take it away. A sweetheart, okay, obviously. I would be the weakest link. Yeah. Well, <laughs> she's a very strict father. Okay. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> strict. Um, hmm. All right. It sounds like she gives everyone an intimidating impression. Yeah, but I think Arlequino loves all of the house's children equally, and she would never treat them harshly for no reason, though... Exactly. The kids feel a lot of pressure during her lessons and are often scared speechless by her stern attitude. It's probably for their own good. In an organization like the Fatui, these kids actually need to be more mature, mm -hmm. tough, and patient than other children who are their age, you know? Mm -hmm. That's actually kind of sad, though, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. Who? Yeah, but she does it out of love. Knave? I want to know why are they this way? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Are you trying to say that she treats the kids like that because she was traumatized? Ooh, okay. Now that's very sharp of you. Oh, no. But Maybe. let's keep our Lakino secrets hidden for just a little bit longer. Okay, okay. Um, I do have a question though. Why do the children call her father? Ah, well, if you're curious about Arlequino's past, then you'll have to find your answer in the game. That's fair. Her story quest yeah, play the in game. East Purgatorius will be released with Ooh. version 4.6. Now, I don't want to spoil anyone's We're not going to wait on this one, chat. We're doing that about her ASAP. Quest, okay? But I do hope that travelers will be able to appreciate nice. Arlequino's unique charm after they've experienced her entire story. <laughs> yeah. Version 4.6 will also introduce a new feature, the focused experience mode. Ooh. Now, if you yes, use we already talked about this chat. Kino story quest, then it will minimize the number of times that you'll be interrupted by characters or quest locations. <sighs> Thank being God. To other quests. Mm. So hopefully this mode will help travelers have a better story experience, cool. you know? So you can just do it <laughs> right, right away. And in the future, this function will become available for more and more quests. 
Nice. Besides the story quest, I'm also looking forward to hearing the Knave's voiceover lines because Aaron's kind of awesome. <laughs> we'll finally be able to hear what she thinks about the other Harbingers, too. Yes, oh, I also, yeah. also think that will be cool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Next, let's take a look at Arlequino's elegant yet deadly fighting style. Yes, please. <laughs> <We're intrigued. laughs> yeah. Show me. Staring uh. into my eyes is ill-advised. I will stare into your eyes all the time. Wait, is she glitching? Transfixed. Oh my god, it's a scythe. It's a scythe. I've been asking for a scythe for so long. C6R5, dude. Right off the bat, I don't care. Oh, does she Sephiroth with the one wing? This is where you fall. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I folded. <laughs> she's awesome, dude. I like how she glides. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. She's very elegant. Like that was a perfect descriptor. Like elegant I love but it, dude. deadly. Like a, I love like it so a much. ballerina of death. Yes. Everything she does is so effortless. I know, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. All right. Well, if we're going to talk about Arlequino's combat abilities, then we're gonna have to talk about the bond of life mechanic. Uh, you might have been a victim to it while you were fighting elite Fatui operatives in Fontaine. Okay. Does anyone still remember what a bond of life is? Uh, oh, wait, are you going to be teaching us about her abilities? Guys, you're too loud. Pipe oh. down. <laughs> <laughs> Let's listen to what she has to say. Wait, I, oh I think God, I remember. Her animations it's the are red sick. portion of the HP bar. When you have a bond of life active, it'll absorb any healing that your character receives. So... They can't regain HP until the bond of life value has been healed. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Right? Very good, <laughs> student. <laughs> when Arlequino <laughs> has a bond of life greater than or equal to a certain percentage of her health bar, okay. her normal charged and plunging attacks will be converted to pyro damage, which can't be overridden by other elemental infusions. And while she's oh. in this state, her normal attacks will consume a portion of her current bond of life to deal more damage and reduce the remaining cooldown on her elemental skill. How many people do whoa, you think whoa, are going to see six their wait, benefits wait, wait, finally? It's a lot, it's a lot. <laughs> so you're saying that she'll deal more damage with her normal attack when her bond of life is higher? <laughs> Put simply, yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. <laughs> no, wait. I get it. Wait, so uh, Arlequino can give herself a bond of life, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I think so. Gosh, I mean, she's otherwise so she'd have badass, to chase down dude. enemies who can put a bond of life on her. <laughs> Actually, that that sounds. Her really animations funny. are so cool. <laughs> I like to see that. Uh, and that brings us to our elemental skill. Our Lakino skill doesn't just damage enemies; it also applies a blood debt directive to any enemy that it hits, blood which will debt? damage them periodically. That's sick. And when she uses a charged attack or her elemental burst, she'll absorb nearby blood debt directives. This also allows her to obtain a bond of life based oh, on bro. the number of directives that she absorbed. So don't worry, Max. Oh, I was very concerned. <laughs> I know, I know you were. Okay, hold on. She can't regain HP until her bond of life is removed, right? So how does she stay in the fight? Well, after dishing out damage, Arlequino's elemental burst will reset the cooldown of her elemental skill okay. and heal her based on her nice. attack and her Dude, her animation for her also, burst looks insane. Thanks to one of her talents, while Arlequino is in combat, she gains bonus pyro damage, but also cannot be affected by any healing effects other than the healing provided by her burst. <sighs> Oh, so I mean, that seems like she's as ruthless to herself yeah, as she yeah. is to her. It's giving Hu Tao. Like yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but more badass Hu Tao. She's kind of a savage. I mean, <laughs> um, right. So Arlequino even has a special kind of movement whenever she uses her charged attack, mm. right? Ooh, that looks perfect for scaring your enemies. Yes. Now, how long yeah. does it last? And for putting some serious pressure on them. Yeah. Uh, it lasts a pretty good amount. <laughs> Dude, that scythe looks so sick. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, it's about time to introduce the event wishes in version 4.6. You guys ready? Oh, let's do it. So oh exciting. My God, During the first phase of version 4.6, Arlequino, <laughs> the knave, and Linny will both enjoy... Linny and Arlequino on the same the banner chat. The all-new polearm That's crimson funny. moon semblance will also become available. Also, the Wanderer and Baiju will return in the second phase, so be sure to keep an eye out. Yay! <laughs> That's oh so God, random. That's so amazing. <laughs> okay, so Wanderer Aaron and, and Baiju. Do you have any other news you'd like to share? No one Actually, wishing on do. this one, dude. Let's discuss the new weekly boss. Oh, That's yeah. right. 
We were just talking that about how the Nave shows is different insane, faces to different dude. family members and to outsiders. But in special circumstances, she will reveal another side. I need that artwork right there. <laughs> That's right. Are you ready to see a new Nave? Yes. Ready? yes. I'm ready. So ready. It's like Dark Souls or Bloodborne or something. Oh my God. Dude, this boss is going to be epic. Holy shit. She goes another wing. Ah, oh my God. I need that as a skin too. Ooh. Oh my God. She's so freaking menacing. This is insane. This might be the coolest boss. I might be biased, but like, dude. That looks so epic. Wow. Not even Linny and Fremine have seen this side of her. Before. Oh my God. So bro. the Nave is accepting challengers now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's so elegant, but also terrifying. Super duper dangerous. Yeah. She's smooth. <laughs> yeah. It feels even more badass with twice the badassitude. <laughs> hey, it's not so simple to see the Nave's other side. She'll appear normally at first, as if she were giving you an ordinary training lesson waiting to counter your attacks the way yeah, she just like shifts she around all of our attacks Ooh, like that's so cool we're out of her immediate range mm. Mm. yeah it feels like she's implying that we're all in the palm of her hand <laughs> i mean you guys know what her personality's like she doesn't want her children <laughs> crying or running away from conflict Holy. instead she hopes that they'll be able to take the initiative even if their opponent is their own father Dude, the outside world so will not sick. show her children mercy, so neither can she afford to be too forgiving to them. Mm. If you do not repay the blood debt directives the Nave applies to you, uh -huh. all her attacks against you will be enhanced. But if you manage to outheal the bond of life, the uh -huh. Nave will reward you for repaying this blood debt, and your charged attacks against her will be enhanced. Interesting yeah. mechanic. Okay. The bone wings on her back look like spiders. <laughs> yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh my gosh. It's like she has total control of her prey while she watches them struggle and closes the distance. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We don't need to talk about that. That's kind of creepy. Creepy being the hunted one for once. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I think we should stop the introduction here. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. Let's leave some space for everyone to experience the challenge for themselves. Wait, so Dude, what I a cool know boss that many battle. travelers will be wondering about this. The Nave's boss form is tied to her story quest. Mm -hmm. Normally, players would have to progress the story to a certain point in order to participate in the challenge. Mm -hmm. But now we have a quick challenge feature for weekly Trounce domain bosses. Yeah. Ooh. As long yeah, as travelers nice. are adventure rank 40 or higher, they'll be able to challenge her directly by going to the adventurer handbook, going nice. to the domains tab, selecting Trounce domains, and pressing quick challenge. That's going to be really nice ah. cool. for a farming nice and stuff. nice little shortcut to the battle. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> that is really valuable information to have. <laughs> and it also looks like it's my turn to deliver some news. Two new artifact sets will become available okay. in 4.6. What do they do? of Harmonic Whimsy and Unfinished Reverie. Travelers who are interested in them should stay tuned new for artifacts. more information. Cool. Oh, you're finished. Okay, wait, how <laughs> come your update was so short? It wasn't enough for me. Yeah, give us more. Is okay, it? okay, I actually do have other news to share. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. In version 4.6, Sumeru City will be experiencing an unsolved mystery. Ooh. And for some reason, Sino's gotten mixed up. In New hey, story quest. This picture is right there. Oh, Love it. Right. <laughs> Oops. Going back to Sumeru, well, baby. Sino wanted to investigate personally Hell yeah. because someone involved in the case has a very unique identity, and the two of them share a close connection. I'm excited for that one. I'm not going to lie, chat. I'm excited for that one. That's right. Is this a case where we get to use violence if the situation gets too complicated? Yes. These are all very good guesses. Yeah, I don't think we're getting a Dane I'll quest, chat. i offer you one chat. clue that you probably wouldn't be able to guess otherwise. A mysterious youngster with connections to the mystery will make his debut during the case. 
Who is that? And Sino's friends are not just freeloaders who only show up for food. <laughs> Tainari, Kale, Alhatham, and Kave will all come to support him when he's in a pinch. So, yeah, if you want to know more about what happens in this case, the then be character sure to check design out Sino's really cool. second story quest, Lupus Arius Act 2. Travelers can venture to Sumeru and investigate the secrets lurking underneath the sands. In due time, of course. <laughs> Sarah, you totally delivered. That was great news. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of great news, Ooh. I think Damon also has Wait. some important information. Yeah, did you hear they say Kave? Wait, really? Wait, Rerun? Wait. Wait, what are we Wait. waiting for? We've just presented too much information too quickly. C can, we, can we take a break, please, so we can digest <laughs> all of it, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's digest this a little bit. He can't keep getting away I with this. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, no, Damon, you're right. I know. Let's check out the first redemption code before we continue introducing the new content. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. That's what I thought. <laughs> All right, here's your first redemption code chat. What y'all think so far? Oh, the music is really ominous. What do you guys think so far? I'm excited, dude. Pretty cool. Pretty freaking cool. Five star Goku. Um, new boss battle looks amazing. Arlequino looks sick. The story quest from the trailer looks. It looks like we're going to get some really good stuff in those story quests. So I'm excited for those personally. I'm excited. I'm really excited, man. It's already better than 4.5. So I mean, that's a plus, right? It's already better than 4.5. Oh, dude. Oh man, dude, she looks so cool. The scythe, her animations. Oh, I'm excited, dude. My team hey, shall work. Welcome yeah. back, everyone. New hey, area. We've already told okay. you the story of Arlequino and the House of the Hearth. The so, undersea capital. Why don't we continue the story of Remuria, which you saw in the beginning of the program? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like this very much, please. <laughs> yes, you did such <laughs> yes, a good job. Yes. Encore, encore. <laughs> a new area. So we're getting a new a area. Nice. Version 4.6. Travelers will get to visit the village of Petricor. Ooh. <sighs> Though, would there even be much to see on such a small island? I love the night well, statues. Yeah, I guess this is, this is where I'm supposed to really confidently say totally, right? It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that you've mentioned it, there's definitely more to this village than meets the eye, uh -huh. right? Yeah, I think we're focused on the wrong thing here. This is where the kingdom of Remuria's remains lay at rest. So how I big see. was such a glorious and prosperous nation, really? Mm. Oh, well, now that you say that, I mean, this little town looks a whole lot bigger. Now that's a neat trick. <clears throat> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is where we'll meet a talking cat. With its guidance, we will be able to see the civilization that vanished. A talking cat. Ago. You have my what? attention. Oh my god, uh, that's amazing! Anything for a talking cat. <laughs> <laughs> As Aaron mentioned at the okay. beginning of the program, King Reem has composed a symphony, one with wondrous power that grants the wishes of the human souls dwelling within. Yes, I'm mm. getting it. I'm getting it. I'm. I. I actually. I don't You're get it. You're so not getting it. Get that's it. okay. I will explain <laughs> it in a few words. So you'll just have to learn about. The symphony by going on an adventure with this little cat. I'll avoid spoiling the adventure itself, but you'll arrive at the Remoria ruins with the cat. That looks the pretty cool. Remnant slumber in the depths. <gasps> Look at the little like cat is swimming with Traveler. Did you see that? Deep sea. That's actually Loki. Is super cute. <laughs> So you'll be He's able got his to own little bubble. Relating to the symphony, <laughs> I love that. Help you explore the lost realm of Remuria. You'll be able to pause the melody within the realm of this ancient civilization. You can also unseal time in places where it stopped. So these okay. powers will let you interact with specific objects in the ruins. You know, that might be useful for solving puzzles during your adventure. Totally. Ooh. Meanwhile, a forgotten statue sits in a recess. Dude, the that castle. boss looks Silently really cool. I like that design a lot. The glory of a great civilization. It awaits a warrior who would dare challenge the majesty of the ancient. Gives me Dark Souls, God of War vibes. Yeah, that's right. The statue of marble and brass will soon be coming as a boss. You can earn all sorts of materials if you manage to beat it in a challenge. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I'm so that looks pretty cool. <laughs> oh too. my gosh, yes. And Damon, you did such a great yes, job with introducing it. 
again. That was great. <laughs> that was great, Damon. Wait, My man's got a quick, fire so sword. How do we even get to such a remote little island? That is a great question. Travelers who have already completed the third act of the Archon Quest, Song of the Dragon and Freedom, nice. will automatically unlock a teleport waypoint in the village of Petricor. Hopefully this helps travelers with exploring the new area. I've heard That's that pretty this big. will return for many new areas in the future. Uh, so exciting. I know. So cool. <laughs> all right, that's all the information that we have about Fontaine for now. Okay. And now, outside of the region, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. It seems like a new style of rock and roll is getting popular in Inazuma. <gasps> rock and roll. Yeah. Inazuma. All right, let's all take a short break before we get into the next section. Take a look at today's second redemption code. Yeah. All right. Inazuma. Come on back. Shin Yan. All right, here's your second redemption code. Uh, so we're getting a new area. Looks pretty cool um, to explore for people who want to do that. So that's nice. All right. I, I would say this is a pretty good update. I know there's probably going to be people out there being like, uh, it's all right. Look, man. I think it's great. I think it's great so far. I think it's been a pretty good update. Edo's there for a reason. Oh, yeah. Because of Inazuma, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This patch is sponsored by Dark Souls. Yeah, Miyazaki was like, here, let me help you write some bosses and stuff. <laughs> Have they announced the banners yet? Yes. Arlequino and Linny, then Wanderer and Baiju. <laughs> so I don't think anyone's going to wish on that one for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still 25 minutes and there's still more info. I know. Welcome back, everyone. Oh, hey. <laughs> okay. I hear that a musical Cute. tour is coming to Inazuma, and the organizer is none other Free than Goro. Arataki Ito himself. That's why Ito is here. <laughs> Max, would you like to tell us more about it? It would be my absolute pleasure, compadre. Nice. So I got a question. Does everyone still remember Dvorak? Mm -hmm. um, I do. Of course. Marco Meatball voices them. He participated in last year's Lantern Rite, mm -hmm. right? That's oh, right, yeah. Both Hu Tao and Shin Yen performed mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. That's right. And this time, it's an epic tour for the ages, organized by none other than Ito and Dvorak. Oh, Honestly, my gosh. And even Ito the being there name sounds really epic. makes it a banger yeah. up yeah. there, no, dude. The way he says, iridescent, arataki, rockin' for life, tour to force of Awesomeness really gives off the feeling of rock and roll. Wow. Yeah. And the theme of this concert is about life. Specifically, okay. it's about a brave puppy who saved the lives of countless other creatures on the battlefield. Aww, that's okay. so cute. Adorable. I'm really yeah. looking forward to yeah. it. Yeah, me too. I really hope the Music Festival of Life will inspire everyone to unleash their own rock and roll spirit. Yeah. And uh -huh. I'll let you in on a little secret. Ito himself will personally be performing on the big stage. <gasps> is he gonna beatbox? Oh, oh, oh really, be right? Awesome. Or yes, sing. it will be. And here's more exclusive news for you. Yeah. Dvorak will be giving away a brand new musical nice. instrument to our travelers called the Nightwind Horn. Ooh. Oh, God. So if you enjoy Ooh. playing music in real life, or especially oh, if you enjoy playing music in the game, be sure to check it out. I'm looking forward to seeing more amazing performances. People are going to come into my world with that freaking horn now. I know. Well, since you're so excited about it and the festival, why don't you help launch the Arataki Rockin' for Life Tour to Force of Awesomeness? Yeah, I'll try to. <laughs> All right, okay. there's three steps to preparing for the festival. Number one. Extreme Carnival Ensemble. We can practice getting into the flow with some rhythm games while the stage is still coming together. Wow, those keys nice. look really unique. These are always yeah, fun. They really are. I don't care what the anyone says. I like the rhythm the games a lot. Trinket Trawl. Hmm. Say that three times fast. The Trillion Trinket Trawl. The Trillion Trinket Trawl. The Trillion Trinket Trawl. I did it. Ooh. We can't have <laughs> a rock and music festival without a rock and venue. So mm -hmm. travelers will be helping Dvorak spruce it up with his list of items. It's a piece of cake, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> lastly, <laughs> we have the meeting of melodies. Can't have a party without adoring fans, so we got to invite fellow music lovers to come jam with us. Oh, cool. After listening okay. to their tunes, we can restore the missing music notes. Oh, so we'll be able to hear them sing. That is super exciting. Yeah. Yes, that's the point. Music gets you pumped. And after we've rocked out to the pure spirit of music awesomeness in Inazuma over in Mondstadt, be dancing to a tense and thrilling tune. <gasps> hold up, hold up. Ooh. What do you mean he by tense VA and thrilling? He does VA is so annoying, like SMH. Bro, ban that guy. Trace. Ban him. Seekers Don't ban them, but... I'll take, I'll yes. take. I 
love that's a big L right face. there, bro. And and yeah, it can get a little tense at times. <laughs> well, that the new name implies that the L, game has undergone L. some mechanics changes. Yeah. Yeah, you're correct. As the mix, I was hovering cool. over. Yeah, Imagine saying that Ito's annoying and Max Middleman's voice actor's like annoying. L, L take, bro. New rules. Yeah, when rebels are captured for the first time, they'll be exiled to the surveillance zone for a short period of time. Now, they will be automatically freed after their timeout, but also their friends can try to help them escape the zone. Wait, when Trace is coming but back? But if you get sent to jail, I didn't twice, realize. I was too busy with that LT. <gasps> Does sound tense and thrilling. <laughs> Wind Trace is back, baby. <laughs> this is the best update ever. Oh, no. I don't Each care. Each round will have six signaling devices, which will prevent nearby rebels from disguising or concealing them. Is back. The rebels' goal is to repair these devices while also avoiding capture. Once they repair four devices, they win the match. Dead so by the daylight. Can work together to repair these devices. It's dead and by daylight. It will either need to prevent the rebels from repairing the signaling devices. Hey, I love dead by daylight. And simply eliminate their opponents. I'm if you that. team up with friends, then watching these games should be a blast. Dude, <laughs> this is going to be a lot she of fun. Gets it. But the next part is even more thrilling. When rebels are fixing a signaling device, uh -huh. the device being repaired will enter the high speed signaling state. What does it mean? <gasps> it means it'll give off a light visible by every player in the area. It's in dead fact, by daylight. This will even be marked on the minimap. Ooh, Love okay. it, dude. So that means that repairing the devices will expose your location. That is so funny. Oh I love that. It's these sort of unexpected risks that can be the most nerve-wracking. Mm -hmm. This is going to be super interesting to play. Yeah. This is going to be a lot of fun, oh, I think. And in another event, travelers will receive a rather strange commission. Ooh. What do you mean, rather strange? What I mean is, there's a chef who's famous for using unusual ingredients. Okay. He wants to make friends with a pyro regisfine. Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Huh? And not just a pyro regisfine, he also wants to befriend a primo geovision. And a jade plume terror shroom. And what? a millennial pearl seahorse. Huh? <laughs> you guys heard me the first time. Yeah, I thought you would react this way. Anyway, a chef recently returned from a trip to Natlon, and he started getting some ideas. He thought he should toughen himself up by having his own companion. You oh. know, just like how people from Natlon have Saurian companions. That oh, makes sense. Oh, Natlon. Wait, did you say that he came back from Natlon? Listen, listen, Not long? Damon, if you want to know the details, okay. go check out the event <laughs> when the Virgin is I'm live, sorry. all right? But for now, it's time for me to introduce the game club. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Okay, here you. All right, you got it. Not long. Got In it. this challenge, you can adjust the difficulty and your negotiation strategies. Okay. If you've got the guts, then you can take on fearless difficulty. You can also talk to Ranjit to adjust the Don't number Don't worry, of my C6, R5, R Lakino so will do the job. Them, it amps up the challenge difficulty, giving you the perfect opportunity to test your skills. Cool. Both active strategies and long term strategies are available. You can trigger active okay. strategies at will. However, your opponent's HP and level will change depending on the number. Number of strategies that you've picked. Ooh, All right. So, yeah. So you've got against Pyro Regisvine. Yep. To I'm going to use my the C6 R5 Arlecchino even and against on, Pyro Regisvine. Travelers Regisvine. should be familiar with our next event, Vibro Crystal Applications. Ooh, yep. It seems like the event involves connecting different vibrating crystals in order to generate different effects. Yes. Aaron, I am so impressed by how intuitive you are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just so say I love you? <laughs> yeah. Well, I meant it. Each round requires two teams. Before each battle, you can set up Vibro Crystal Harmonics plans for yep. each of your teams. This is a fun event, this too. This will allow you to receive different combat buffs. Dude, this update is packed. Transmitter crystals and receiver crystals. Hmm. Basically, I have fun with the this transmitter one too. crystal decides like the trigger one. condition, while the receiver crystal determines the buff that your team gets as a result. Yeah, By yeah, connecting yeah. them in different combinations, you can create varying harmonic effects. It's your custom buff plan. Wow. Spot on, Sarah Cruz. Thank you. And <laughs> you gain a harmonic point for each time that you trigger Spot a harmonic, on, harmonic Cruz. You can get even more combat bonuses if you accumulate enough harmonic points. All right. Each challenge will have different trial characters, so you can choose the harmonic buff that works best for your team setup. Nice. Be sure to maximize your points if you want to exchange them for rewards. Dude, a nice. lot of fun stuff in this update. Also, the genius invocation lot of TCG fun event, stuff. the Forge Realms Temper, will be returning in version 4.6. Yes. The heated battle mode will also I need that kooky card. So don't miss out, Love duelists. that card. 
and there's going to be an overflowing mastery event. So you thank can more you. easily train up the characters. Thank you, thank you, thank the you. the extra boosty boost. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you so much, Max. You just did an amazing yes, job. That was impressive. Thank you, Sarah. Mm -hmm. uh, and thanks, guys. since you introduced so many events in one go, I feel like you deserve a little break. I you know what? Please. I Yes, you agree? <laughs> I was going to well, say, I, I agree. agree. Too. I agree. agree. <laughs> so how about now, let's check out the... The, the last, last redemption, redemption code. code. All right, our last Yay! redemption code, chat. There you go. Make sure to use these, by the way, uh, ASAP so that they don't expire because they do expire. Um, yeah, so far, dude, I think this update's great. There's a lot of good stuff in it. Um, a lot of fun, a lot of fun events, I think. Like, uh, there's obviously past events in here that we've got, but like good changes to them, especially the wind trace one, DBD, bro. I think this patch is gonna be really good. Very, very good. I'm very excited for this one. Better than 4.5, I will say that. So that's nice. Sheesh. But I know there's gonna be people being like, uh, actually 4.6 sucks and I'll never be happy in life. And I'm like, you know what, whatever. I'm happy, okay? And I am excited, so whatever. <laughs> Dead by Genshin event made for me. <laughs> exactly, it's made for you, Lana. Hey, for you. Yeah, also, we'll have the codes posted in Discord and on my YouTube uh, pin comments. Honestly, it's not hard to be hard, better than 4.5. True, back, Eddie. Everyone. It's not Next that up, hard. It's a very low bar. Information about improvements for okay. different in-game systems. All right, let's talk about First it. Up, we have some updates for the Serena teapot, such as the quick obtain feature. Instead yeah. of having to navigate a bunch of menus, you can use this feature to put all missing furnishings into a queue where you can use one click to purchase any missing components very and nice. craft your desired piece. For wow. people who Ooh, like the teapot. That does actually sound very convenient so convenient <laughs> mm -hmm. so convenient the avatar system will also be updated so you'll be able to use more portraits of your familiar friends as your profile display <laughs> nice oh well, that's fun oh that mask is hanachiru sato isn't <gasps> that it that one's mm -hmm. cute Oh, and there's Arama and the Thunderbird and uh -huh. Rue uh -huh. uh, and more. This is amazing. So <laughs> many more. I'm sure lots of travelers like them. Treasure compasses have also been updated. Its markers will be displayed on both the large map and the mini map. Yeah, the we read about this the other day. also include information about different map layers. Sweet. Oh, that's way more yeah. intuitive. Mm -hmm. That's very nice. It's time to eradicate all the maps with 99% Maybe finally I'll explore, chat. Heck yeah. yeah. Exploration! Oh, yeah. Eradication! <laughs> yes. Now that we've gone over some updates to the game systems, it's time to talk about some Genshin Impact soundtrack news. Okay. <laughs> Let's go music! Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Genshin Impact's third Fontaine OST, Cantus Eternus, will debut during version 4.6. This album features original music created by the Hoyo Mix team for the new region of Fontaine and related content. Sick. Yes. All right. Music is my favorite. So Music's <laughs> always a banger. Oh no, y'all. It looks like there's nothing left for us to present. Oh. They're lying. I They're know, lying. I know. So I think They're lying. that means it's time for this special program You're lying. to come to a close. Say oh. it's not so. They're lying. Is there anything else that y'all would like to share with ooh, all the ooh, travelers ooh, who ooh, are watching? Yes. Uh, what? Uh, we need to have Ven answer uh, right now in this moment. Um, it's okay, you've got it. Okay, uh, okay, okay. I'll make go. it easy and just um, be very selfish and say that I'm just so incredibly excited for Arlequino. Please show Natlan, uh, please. We did, we did a lot of work. Natlan teaser. Natlan teaser. Really cool, and I can't wait for everyone else to see how cool she is. Yay! She's so oh, cool. Totally. She's so freaking cool, and I love the whole quest and everything secret that I can't talk about right now. <laughs> but I am also really excited for that and Linny's involvement in said things. Mm. And that's all I'm going to say right now, guys. Yes. Uh, it's Yay. so hard to talk about this without spoiling anything, but I'm so, mm. so excited for you guys. I'm trying not to get my hopes up, but concert. Really it nice. is so good and all I can say is that I had more fun recording for this uh, part of, of Genshin Impact than I've had in a long time recording so um, oh my gosh, gosh that's amazing <laughs> wow I'm excited for all of those things too and I'm also really pumped for the Wind Trace Festival because I love it so much <laughs> and it sounds okay. like there's a ton of awesome things coming in version 4.6 so I hope yeah it's going to be a good excited. update yes, I, I think it's already good yeah. 
Wow, okay. I just have to say There's no so Chronicle Wish. Did you see that? Being here with you today. I'm so glad <laughs> I got Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. No Chronicle yeah. banner. Such a great time. Oh, Interesting. <laughs> so, thanks for being here and I think that's and all no we have in this program. So, we will see you all in game. See you guys bye. in the game. Bye. 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 See you later. I love you. Bye. <laughs> no. No, there's not. I was coping. I coped too hard. We coped. No Natland teaser. Oh, this is why we shouldn't get our hopes up. L. Honestly, biggest L in gaming history ever. For real. Mm, bad up. I'm joking. Wow. Oh, man. I thought that was going to be a L update. <laughs> no, I, I got hyped up with for nothing confirmed damn i thought though they were gonna show a little bit of natlan a little bit i thought interesting so yeah no natlan teaser no Dainsliff quest no chronicled wish did you notice that no chronicle wish which i thought was very interesting um but and then no anime news obviously and Let's not forget, chat, no Nintendo Switch news. Kind of a bummer. But overall, I think 4.6 is great. I think it's amazing, in my opinion. I know there's going to be people that are like, it's mid, it's bad, whatever. Let them hate. I think personally, it's amazing. And I'm probably going to title my reaction video that it's insane or amazing because I truly do feel that. Like, Arlecchino looks insanely cool. The boss battle, the story quests... Like the events are fun. This is a jam packed update. That's going to be a lot of fun. And that's what matters at the end of the day is that it's fun. So I'm excited, dude. What'd you guys think? What'd you guys think uh, in chat? Let me know. Let me know.